Suck in this air. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming out to you with 2019 Panini Donruss Elite Football 12 box. Pick your team number five here at jazbeescasebreaks.com. A spider free zone. Big thanks to all of these folks right here who purchased their team straight up. Really appreciate that. And thanks to everybody who joined this uh, little team randomizer right there. So this is going to, this is, helps fill up. Elite, pick your team five. We randomize just your names. Name on top gets the Arizona Football Cardinals. Second name gets the Redskins. And the third name will get the Broncos. Everybody else will end up with a division spot in a one-box break of prominence uh, one and another one in another one-box break of 2013 prominence football. And we'll do those two breaks immediately after this elite break. Once again, thank you to these folks right here for getting into it. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. Three and a five eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I said eight, right? Yeah. One more time. Eighth and final time. Name on top, or the top three names. And so there's five, four, three, Fred Williams with a team, two, Bulldog fan with a team, and one, Fred Williams with a team. So congrats to you guys. So Fred Williams, congrats, Arizona Cardinals. <clears throat> Will, Washington Redskins. And Fred with the Denver Broncos, little oppo Joe Mojo. There's 62,0001 this year. Well, that's, that's and everyone else right here, thanks very much for giving it a shot. We'll do um, after right after this elite break, we'll do prominence number one, division one, and prominence division two right here. Alright, so here is the final printout. Gilo, what's going on? Grego, you are welcome. We were excited for you, you being an A's fan and all. Alright, so on a Friday. There's the final printout. It's official. <coughs> Good luck, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks to Nick for helping us pack stack. We got Nick Cam right above, right above my head. So you'll see his hands there, and you'll help, you'll help pack stack these so that we'll shave some, uh, some valuable time off this break so we can get to other things tonight. Another pyramid. Ooh. Oh, did you just Jenga that box out there? Wow. All right, so you can see all the boxes right there. All the boxes up here. Kind of built another pyramid again. All right, let's just grab and go. Two autographs, one memorabilia card per box. On a, uh, in a separate video, there will be a, a hit recap video where we recap the autographs and relics. So if you're watching the uh, replay of this, you don't have to watch the whole thing. You can, uh, you can just go watch the hit recap video, unless you want to watch the whole video. For those of you watching live, you're just stuck. You're stuck with us. Baseball player who didn't think dinosaurs were real. There's a baseball player that thinks yeah, dinosaurs really aren't real. He was a really famous baseball player. Was it baseball or football? Maybe it was football. Sounds like Kyrie Irving. It was. It was like Kyrie Irving before Kyrie. Irving. Who was the football player that thought believed dinosaurs didn't exist? There's there's a faction of people that 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 truly believe that. He's also controversial. Was oh, that Reggie White, maybe? No. Maybe someone will know it. 
It wasn't the guy. Jason McKee ago. says Rams dude that went to Miami. Defensive guy. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that guy. Rick says it was on William Hard Knocks Hayes. a few years William ago. William Hayes is that guy. But this was a guy in the eight nineteen eighties. Oh, so maybe some or guy 90s. in the eighties or nineties. Maybe a baseball player. Carl Everett. Carl Everett, baseball yeah. player. He's a Blue Jay for a little bit. Carl Everett. Yeah, he thought. He's known for making a number of sometimes controversial comments. <laughs> Including <laughs> dinosaurs didn't exist? Yeah. So where does he think those bones came from? He said the Bible doesn't say anything about dinosaurs. So Bible doesn't say anything about dinosaurs. Somebody actually saw Adam and Eve eating apples. No one ever saw a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, so then, okay, then explain the bones. So then his nickname was Jurassic Carl. He said the bones were like made up by the government. He also questioned the Apollo moon landing. Hmm. Interesting. I was just. There you go. Yeah. William Hayes just bringing that back. Carl Everett was. OG. OG. <laughs> There's Kirk Cousins, and so we'll we'll sleeve and top load all of those before they go out. Of course, veteran commons won't ship. I think most most of you know that by now. So why would the government put bones? Like, what's the motivation for the know. government to put bones in? I don't know. Sell tickets to a museum. That's the whole conspiracy. <laughs> to get Night to get the kids into a natural history Night museum. The museum. With uh, with Ben Stiller in it. It was a Hollywood thing. Long con. Just a yeah, <laughs> long con. <laughs> so Spielberg can make Jurassic Park. Yeah. And make a zillion dollars. And, wow. Oh. Turn of the century, two out of five, Kyler Murray for Fred Williams. Did he win the Mavericks, too? He won the Mavericks, too. Wow. What a lucky night. And Jeez. gets the Cardinals in Elite Five and gets a train whistle, Kyler Murray. <clears throat> That's wild. Go, go buy a lottery ticket. I Fred Williams. Play. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That's wild, man. Kyler nice. Murray's got a nice autograph, a nice too. Auto, yeah. yeah. I like the K. It's good for the hobby. A it nice... reminds me of another guy. Kind of. I can't think of a name. Maybe Chris Bryant. Nice. Fred Williams. Boom, he says. Nice. That's what? Three Murrays out of five, or four Murrays out of five cases. Out of five cases, That's yeah. Crazy. Um, probably not any more elite coming. Maybe another case or two next week, but we don't have any anymore right now. I think the next release is Gold Standard Football, July tenth. So we'll have a lot of that. That's an easy break. So we'll probably have pre-orders for that next week. Out of two ninety nine. I don't know if anybody... Yeah, it's, it. it's pretty secure in here. It's not going anywhere. Pen Pals, Tony Pollard. Cowboys, Matthew Simons. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it could be good enough to grade. He played in a pretty tough division in the college football. He didn't break his legs. So it's like... I know college isn't the same, but... You know, they, they don't always cut elite perfectly, but... Surface, I can never tell on surface. Then you, you might see top loader scratches, but... Surface, I can never figure out how to... How they grade surface.
Oh, and these will randomize between the, those five positions right there. Oh, you're welcome, Fred. Listen, I, pr I appreciate you getting giving that a shot. I mean, it could have easily gone the other way. You know what I mean? Could have not gone the Cardinals at all. But hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Scared money don't make money, as they say. Craftsman Relic, Matt Ryan. That'll be for the Dirty Birds. Derek Bratton. I set that Kyler Murray aside so I can snap a picture of it after the break. All right. So each of these stacks that you see me sliding over on the top cam right there. Represents a box, so we can kind of keep track of that as we go along. Now, Jason Key was saying earlier, better go sell that now before the combined hate of the Hawks, Niners, and Rams defense breaks that dude's legs. He's pretty elusive, isn't he? He's only a Heisman Trophy winner. He's pretty elusive. Played Alabama. Yeah, he's played Alabama. That's a, those are tough teams. Said the same thing about Baker. Nice Darius Leonard. 33 out of 99. When he was number one last year. I think basically, you know, Kyler Murray just has to look at the example of Baker Mayfield and Russell Wilson on how not to get killed. They've done all right. Nice Darius Leonard for the Colts, Jeremy Merle. Drew Brees has done all right. He's, he's okay, player. Yeah, Baker Mayfield's pretty small too. He did he survived. Although I think Baker Mayfield's offensive line is a lot better though. There's Harry McLaurin. That's for Bulldog fan. Will Comstock with the Redskins. Got randoed the Redskins. We haven't seen a Haskins yet. My understanding is that he's his ink is pretty short printed, but let's see if we can find one. Numbered the same as is it numbered the same as? Just we haven't seen we've, we've seen so many. Kyler case. Yeah, we have the Kyler cases. Daniel apparently. Jones, Kyler. Murray. Right, there's Daniel Jones at twenty five. I think last year, like we didn't see Lamar Jackson for a while. There's a few guys that really. Yeah, we always seem to like not see and then yeah. yeah, the the uh, Jason, the writing was on the wall for Josh Rosen. As soon as they got the new coach, it was game over. If anyone can coach Kyle Murray, it'll be Kingsbury. Yeah. He almost had that USC job. He had it. Yeah, he, he had it, deal. actually, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then he's he just said, like, no thanks. It's like, oh. And I think, like, Texas Tech, it's like, now all these NFL coach teams want him. Like, what did we just lose? Like, who did we just fire? Yeah. Like, he wasn't that good at Texas Tech. And Elite Coverage Dual Relic, Tyler Boyd for the Bengals. Cat Team Mojo for Scott B. Yeah, Rosen didn't get really a fair chance. Yeah, no, Rosen wasn't lighting it up. But yeah, like Nick was saying, 
I mean, after one season on a bad team, you know, like bad coach. Yeah. Who got fired after his first? Yeah, after his first year. I mean, that just wasn't. Rose never really got a got a fair chance. Irv Smith Jr. Vikings. That is for Timothy Faber Howe. People are saying he's a top five, top ten quarterback, fantasy quarterback this year, though. So. Rose? Kyler Murray. Oh, Kyler Murray? Because of his, his legs and all that. It's like Josh Allen last year. He had a great fantasy season, even though they didn't win. Yeah, that's true. Because his rushing yards. Miles Sanders, Pen Pals autograph. Eagles, Darji with the Eagles. Tyler Murray. He looks small even on a... Look at him next to Andrew Luck. Well, they cut off his feet. <laughs> no, I know. It's just perspective. I saw him in person. No, that's right. Yeah. You tower over You tower over him. He's like, yeah, an inch or two shorter. I think he's like 5'10". Probably. He's probably the shortest quarterback ever. To get picked up, huh? I mean, Mahomes isn't super tall either. We saw Mahomes at the, one of the premieres. Yeah, but he's just kind of big. But yeah, he's kind of he's. That's what Kyler needs to do. I mean, just his first year, just not get killed, and his second year, yeah, just like keep bulking well, up. They just him. need a really good offensive line. Yeah. Hey Rex, what's going on? How are you? Throwback threads. Jerome Bettis, the bus, out of two ninety nine. That'll be for Steel Curtain and his Steelers. But if you don't like him, I mean, you could o his cards still sell well. So even if you think he's gonna be a bust, it still sells. Fred saying Kyler Murray turn of the century number to twenty five sold for four ninety nine. Yeah. So the out of cool. five. I was kind of hoping to buy some of his, but it looks like they're really high. And the one of one listed at forty six hundred. Remember pulling the Bortles one on one rookie year, twenty fourteen, and <laughs> man, everyone was all ton. over all over Bortles. For a ton. Yeah, no one was saying Bortles was gonna get killed, and then he ended up being not good. So. Bortles is terrible. He's not terrible. Actually, he's a pretty. That's pretty. I mean, he's he's, he's, a, he's like, a great backup for the Rams. Yeah, he's a good backup. And Jaguars, it's not like they ever had any great right. pass catchers. Turn of the century, Riley Ridley to one ninety nine. Ford the Bears, Sergio. That Keaton. one Allen Robinson year, and then Bortles had a good year that year. But then after that. Chris Maxwell saying what Rosen just a placeholder for Tua. Jason McKee's like, no, Giants are going to tank even harder for Tua? Or the Oregon dude? I don't think the Giants are. I think the Bengals. I think they're going. I think they believe in Daniel Jones. They wouldn't have drafted him that high just to draft another top five quarterback or top ten quarterback. I think Bengals go number one next year, draft a quarterback. There's Craftsman Relic, Vikings, Tim. Chargers, maybe. Chargers, are all, aren't, aren't they all about that Easton Stick kid? Oh, yeah. You were talking about him? Oh, yeah. Chargers might be all in on him. Pen Pals, Hunter Renfro. Nice. Not the baseball player, but the uh, former Clemson wide receiver for my Raiders. Who's got my Raiders? Jared. Jared Demro with the Raiders. Nice.
I need one of those like sushi belts that just like it's like that would be belt. awesome. Yep. It just goes around and around and around. Oh, that'd be great if there was like a little track right here, a sushi belt. The, yeah, a sushi belt. That's what I call it. Would like the little plates go around the thing? I thought Clown, whatever his name is, was a reach. Then everyone said that. Everyone said, yeah, everyone said Cleland Farrell was a reach, but I like the draft Jason McKee. I like Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs, I think it's that. He has a good season. That's good for the hobby. Raiders are a pretty public team. Bam, a running back, too. Uh, Bama players go for a lot, no matter how they do And Spellbound to 75, Emmett Smith. And Nick Chubb, Elite Coverage, Dual Relic. Cleveland Browns, Glenn Campbell with the Browns. Maybe the Bucks next year for a quarterback. This is Winston's last year on his deal. Yeah, this, this is kind of a make or break year for Jameis Winston. Definitely. He's shown like flashes of and is it, of if, brilliance, is, but is signing him if he doesn't do well this year, is signing him worth a PR yeah, you, for a bad backup. So it might be his career this year, career year. Right. Everyone forgets Jimmy Garoppolo. I think he's really high MVP. He's healthy. Year. Yeah, he's back. It's Josh Jacobs. That's six out of ten. Raiders. Nice low number on that one. And another Craftsman Relic. Vikings. Timothy with that one. Kirk Cousins. Yeah, maybe Bruce Arians gets him in line, but I don't know. He seems like he's going to keep redoing the same mistakes. <laughs> Remember when he was eating W's? Remember he stole crab legs from the grocery yeah. store? When he was a Florida State starting Heisman quarterback? Yeah, like no one's going to notice. Yeah. Or like they wouldn't give it to you free. But I think he just assumed yeah. that He's they were like, giving him free. And then they're like, hey, you got to pay for that, you know. And then he stole a laptop, or was that Cam Newton? Out of 49, turn of the century, TJ Hawkinson. That'll be for Richard Lupu and the Lions. Lions might need the quarterback. I love Stafford's on a pretty big deal. Yeah, Stafford's not going anywhere for a little bit. MH is Deshaun Kaiser is going to blow up this season. Green Bay. But well, Aaron Rodgers needs to get hurt. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers gets injured and Kaiser. Kaiser comes to save the day. Kaiser Soze. Kaiser Soze. Mariota's last year on this is deal too. And another Riley Ridley. This time a pen pals autograph right on the card. For the Bears, Sergio with the Bears. Raiders quarterback next year, maybe too. Yeah, I think I think this is kind of a make or break year for Derek Carr too. So it's a lot of make or breaks. A lot of make or breaks. And there's some good quarterbacks next year. So. I'm just excited for this year. Training camp, a couple weeks. When does Hard Knocks like, start? I think August 6th, the first week of August. In those days. That's a great show. And so is All or Nothing on Amazon video. Amazon oh, yeah, video. I, I haven't, I haven't seen really that. Cool. I, I see that every once in a while. I didn't watch the Cowboys ones because Cowboys. Nice, Lamar Jackson. I saw the other ones. 
41 out of 49. How's Lamar Jackson going to do? He's working on his throwing, everyone's saying. He's got Marquise Brown now. I think he's been working pretty hard on, First round on being more first. accurate, which will be a good thing. Ravens with that one. Jacob Cook. It's been kind of quiet this uh, off season for the most part, right? Kinda, I guess. I mean, the whole Tyree Kill thing. Oh yeah, aside from that, he he met with the NFL today for eight hours. That that, that's an I'm sure that that's an awkward meeting. Hakeem Butler, eight hours just being grilled. I heard Hakeem Butler is a really good sneaky fantasy. Player. Fred Williams with another card, no Fred Williams. State. Hey. Murray to Butler will be the call for years to come. Murray Butler Cook or Kirk, I mean Christian Kirk. They got they got uh Andy, Andy Isabella, Isabella too, yeah. So they got some weapons for Kyler. Ricky Seals Jones. Some favorite, young weapons that can grow together. My favorite name in the hobby, or favorite name in NFL, Ricky Seals Jones. <laughs> Ricky Seals, like yeah. like a Ricky seal. Ricky Seals Jones, yeah. I had him on my fantasy team last year. I always never pick a tight end, and I always regret it. I always <laughs> have to go waiver, waiver wire hunting. I had Gronk one year, and he, I mean, it was good, but I just spent too much on it. I'm 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 defending my my championship this year. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Fantasy winner. I don't know if I do. I get a trophy. I think I have it somewhere. I just got money. I've had it for like four years. Oh, you have the trophy? Yeah. Is it supposed it. to be passed around? I guess not. Or do I get do I get my own trophy? No, it's supposed to be passed around. Well, I, mean, yeah. I, I don't think it ever got passed around a couple years ago. Because of some name reasons on the trophy. Oh, right. <laughs> Someone might have been just like, yeah, keep it this year. And then I oh, kept yeah. it. You can't. That can't be floating around. No. I think it's where your around. baseball glove is, where around. that is. Oh, man. My, my bait? I don't know I don't know where that is. Yeah. It's, like a, it's the pit. trophies. It's like a bottomless pit. You can't ever find anything. I'll just, I'll just go to, like, play it again sports and get a glove. What was it? Black leather? Yeah, it was like a black leather Nike glove. I think it's in the... Which I think I actually got for free anyway. I think we have a, your car keys too. That I do know. That's just for emergencies. Yeah. Lock yourself in the car. Something like that, yeah. If I do something stupid, I'll be like, Nick. <laughs> Alright. Next box. We'll slide this box over to Nick. I don't think any Giants hits. No, not yet. Big hit was Kyler Murray out of five auto. It's been the biggest hit so far. What's the deal with Cam Newton? Panthers. Come back from coming back from injury, right? Yeah, but I heard he's gonna miss time. Jason McKee is Cam Cam Newton gonna miss time? There's turn of the century, Alexander Madison. He's got the same hair as Dalvin Cook. You can't. Oh yeah, that's that's almost. That's you're impeaching on. It's kind of Dalvin Cookish. Have you seen? Have we seen them in the same room together? No. Exactly the same. It's, all, it's almost like a, uh, almost like Mark's last name, except without that, that that H. Long lost cousin. We can we can change that to an H right now. That'll go to. <laughs> I'll go to Timothy with the Vikings. Sup, Joe Kroll? What's going on? Hey, Joe. Just a slow recovery. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Changing his motion. Yeah, he's... I don't know. They, didn't they pull him for a couple Hail Marys last year? I mean, I guess Andrew Luck had the same thing, too. So. What about Greg Olson? Is he back? This year. I feel like there's like a... Are we in like some sort of uh, for a Panthers like window? Is there like a window? How how old is Cam Newton? He's been around around for a little bit. 
2011 draft, so that he's around 30, I think. And he got paid, right? Already? He just, yeah, it's, he just... Trey McLaurin? I think he's taking the most hits out of any quarterback. I think the Panthers are always, like, like this close. I think he's taking the most hits out of any quarterback since he's been drafted. I feel like they're just a couple pieces away. Uh, that goes to Will and the Redskins. Well, they had it in the Super Bowl. They were in it. Yeah, that might have been... That could have been the window right NFL there. NFL windows are really short. But the good unless thing is... Unless you're this team. Yeah, other than the Patriots. But, I mean, even the Patriots, from, like, 2005 to 2013, they had didn't want to... That's right, yeah, there, there was they a little... Lost, uh... They lost two to the Giants, and then they didn't go for a while. Peyton Manning with the Broncos went... But I think, did you ever see that stat where it's like, there's like four quarterbacks and every single one of those quarterbacks has been in a Super Bowl since like 1990. It was like, these four players have played in a Super Bowl at different times, but it was crazy. Were well, they were just all quarterbacks? Yeah, it was or... like Brady, Manning. Oh, it's like, what, the same QBs yeah. have been in yeah. one of these, yeah. Have, have represented a team in a Super Bowl. Once you find that franchise QB. Joe Kroll, um, I love Museum. I would love to do that. Their train was as a museum. We can make something like that happen. I also saw that 15 of the 16 last seasons in the NFL, a team has gone worst to first in a division. That happens. Like two teams, I think. So I have to wonder what teams are going to be this year. So last year, the worst team were the Jets, Raiders, both 4-12. and 12. I'd say no on both. Cardinals, 3-13, and 13, were the worst teams. I don't know. It's... But there's always like a team. But there always is, yeah. That, uh, there's always a team that's always, always there. Yeah, it's three quarterbacks and then like, yeah, Joe Flacco. Yeah, honors got pushed back a little bit. I forgot about the prominence divisionals that I have to do from the uh, elite random. One out of five, Baker Mayfield. Letter D. Didn't we pull like the M yesterday? Something, yeah. That goes to Glenn Campbell and the Browns. There you go, Glenn. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. But there's always a team that like finishes like I mean, two teams five, six the last wins. Sixteen years. There's always one team that does it. It could probably best bet's probably Jaguars. They were five and I think eleven. Jaguars, maybe even the Jets. Who knows? New coach. Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. Sam Cameron Darnold's got a year, year of experience under the belt. I mean, I wouldn't bet on it, but. I would pick them over the Raiders, the Bengals, the Lions. I mean, they, those guys play in tough divisions. But yeah, Jaguars, I think. Speaking of the Raiders, there's Derek Carr. Big. It's going to be a big year for him. One way or another. Mm. When does Antonio Brown start tweeting about Derek Carr? That should be a bet offered. <laughs> oh, boy. When's the first negative tweet? I don't know. It seemed like they, they there was a great video of them. Well, there like, was a video of Big Ben and, and Antonio, Antonio Brown, Brown knock, hugging all the time. Knock on the door. Derek Carr invited him into his house yeah. and said, hey, what's up, Antonio? There's Ben, there's ben right but there. But who, who does the locker room side with? Ooh. The offense line is going with the QB, obviously. Right, right. <laughs> the position players are going with Antonio Brown. Probably. <laughs> Gruden's going one way. Uh, Davis is going one way. Chase McKee, how do you feel about Will Greer? 50 out of 99, Will Greer autograph going to Chase McKee and the Panthers.
I say like week two for the Raiders. <laughs> Antonio Brown. I don't know. I mean, they play a last place schedule, so they're it, they're, they're gonna they're gonna do. He's gonna tweet week one. It's like I just don't think. I don't think they were as bad as everyone said they were last year. It's just they, they get a ton of media. Their, attention. their defense was just god awful though. There's Michael Hardman. Their secondary is always been it's terrible. terrible. So. They have like one. They have like Carl Joseph is decent, and then like. But everyone else, they just got destroyed every time. Like, they were, even without Khalil Mack, they were good up front. But then they had no linebackers, so then, like, yeah. tight ends would torch him in, like, the flats and stuff. Fletcher Cox. There's Antonio Brown. I don't think it'll be super negative, but I think he'll tweet something like, I don't know, I need more. Throw me the ball. Throw me the ball or <laughs> yeah, something like something. that. And or then, like a video of him being wide open, but yeah, car misses. Right, right, right. And he'll tweet that out, like, like or doing it, like an emoji, like that thinking face. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet it'll be more about play calling, though. I think it'll be like Gruden, you gotta throw me the ball more. Yeah. You know, like look how how often I'm, I'm open and. Or he'll be on Instagram live from the yeah, locker room, like right. he did with the. Gruden, Gruden press conference next day. He'll be like, we're gonna find better, we're gonna we're gonna find better ways to get, get Antonio, Antonio the ball. Chucky, we got we we just gotta that, that's that's on me. That's my job. I, I gotta I gotta find better ways to. All right, Jason McKee says I don't I don't, I don't hate Will Greer. They were just there were better, just better picks. Uh, got, oh, he says unneeded. He was saying Raiders got Tyrell Williams and JJ Nelson also this year. I like I like that Tyrell receivers. Williams. Yeah, he's good. As he's gonna stretch the field. JJ Nelson's really fast. I mean. Good. No, I, I like the Raiders' offense. Yeah, it's it's the, it's it's just the, defense. the defense I'm concerned about. It's, uh, you know how many fourth quarters? So they... Brandon Marshall, he's a new for signing, right? From Denver, yeah. linebacker. I think he's new. Perfect is new. Mm -hmm. Gary on Conley. I don't know how he did last year. He did okay. Um, I think he was injured for a big part of the season. Marcus Joyner. I think he was a free agent this year. He's a free safety. Ooh, pen pal duels, Marquise Brown and Miles Boykin. Some wide receiving weapons for Lamar Jackson going to Jacob Cook and the Ravens. Nice one for the Purple Birds. They've had no receivers for a while. Yeah, you had that Lamar Jackson autograph earlier too, right? Somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. So these guys will be these guys will be teaming up. Tape it together, you have a booklet. I <laughs> know, and make a book out of it. But yeah, if you watched it, if you watched like the Raiders games last year, they were like leading at the half, like six games, six, seven games, eight yeah. games maybe. They were leading at the half, we're in the third quarter, and that defense would just get carved and up it, in I the mean, third and fourth quarter. You played the Chargers quarter. twice, you played yep. the Chiefs twice. You have like. Broncos were still pretty good. Yeah, so you still have like Phillip Rivers who can just torch a bad defense. And yeah. Mahomes, Mahomes can torch a bad defense. Although, didn't they lose to the Raiders? I think they did. Raiders got Raiders got lucky. Jared Cook, they lost. That kind of sucks. They got a they got a tight end. I forget who they got. They got a they drafted a tight end. And I think it was interesting. Darren Waller, Trent Brown, Luke Wilson. No, maybe not. Luke Wilson's pretty good. Foster Moreau. I think it was Foster Moreau, right? He's he was drafted. Yeah. They have five tight ends in the roster, so few can cut. Marcus Mariota, Craftsman Relic. Luke Wilson's pretty good, though. He used to play. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Jason McKee saying they got two Moreau and someone else. He played for the Seahawks and then Lions. Well, hopefully, I mean, with decent receivers, they may not need to rely on the uh, pass catching tight end as often. Cook with the Saints that he'll destroy. He's, he'll Cook, like, I, I don't know. I, I don't touchdowns. know. I don't know what got into him last year, but know, was, but he like he just went off. I think like he's got a ton of targets. But like usually More he than ever. he kind of has stone hands. Yeah. So like there's a lot of and like I think he was on the probably, Packers too back in the day. Contract year. That, I, feel like it, contract that year. I think that was it. But it's really big. 
So then that just makes me angry because it's yeah. just like, oh, okay, Where so you so you time? don't have stone hands. Yeah. You're just not concentrating on like watching the looking enough. the ball into yeah. your hand or something like that. Not at the, not using the pass catching right. jug machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like, I don't need to do that. I feel like NFL is the most contract year kind of sport. Like if they have a contract year, they yeah. can just turn it on? Blow up. I mean... I don't know why, but I just... Maybe, maybe... Because NFL, it's like you really only have one big contract. Right. I feel like. And like you don't want to get killed. Like just, yeah. you know, if you're, if you're just like, you know, 100, 110% like at practice or in games and stuff like that, you're like, come on, man. You're going to get me injured or... Yeah, it's like when Cam Newton didn't die for the fumble at Super Bowl. You gotta die for the yeah, Super, Super Bowl. You gotta die for it, yeah. Because like, if if you get a concussion, like, come on, like, you don't have a game yeah. next week. You you have the whole summer to. That was a bad look. Seventy-two out of ninety-nine. Joe Thomas. Nice. Hall of Famer, right? Joe Thomas. Cleveland Browns. Glenn Campbell. Was a was a fixture of that. Uh, Brown's offensive line for a long time. There's Bo Jackson, 218 out of 299 for my Raiders. Jared Demro. Sorry, though. Thanks, he's a little wrinkly, but there it is. We got some final scores here. Let's see, let's see how my picks are doing. Let's take a quick little break. Oh, KC lost. Did Cincinnati hold on? They're holding on. Braves, Braves are up 6-2, bottom of the ninth. Miami leading, that's a final. I was on Miami. Detroit, down by two, but it's in the bottom of the ninth. Milwaukee, still up by one, top of the seventh. if you're this guy and you get like on a football card and you don't even play? That'd be awesome. I'd the guy in the background? Copy. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'd, well, buy, let me see every, that. I'd buy every copy. Coach. What if you were this guy right here? I mean, he's in focus too. Oh yeah, I'd buy every copy. Big like, yeah, mom, I'm on a football card. Yeah, I'd buy. <laughs> I'd, I'd totally buy this. <laughs> sign, sign in person. It's be like, it's be like Rory's brother. It's Packers. I don't know. Joe P. Just watch the re. We, we were gonna. We were gonna be like, if you had showed up. And we're hadn't seen the video. the video and say, don't watch it. We're going to be like, don't watch it. You didn't get anything. Just wait for you to get in the mail. <laughs> we'll send you a free pack, courtesy. <laughs> Congrats, man. Happy birthday, dude. That, that mojo really worked out. Sometimes it works out nicely like that. There's another Keen Butler. Sometimes, sometimes, every once in a while, folks, you just got to buy... You just gotta buy like a team. The breaking gods. Yeah, you just gotta buy something that's just like out of your price range, just like like splurge once in a while. Because I feel like what a lot of people do, and this is another one for Fred Williams, by the way, blue ink this time. Um, I feel like a lot of times it's like you're a pitcher that nibbles on the corners, and then you just end up walking guys or just like getting crushed, right? Sometimes you just have to say F it. Or if it's not your favorite player or team, just yeah, just kind of do it. Yolo. You see, yeah, sometimes you just got to do that because you can end up, like... Stumbling your way into a big... Yeah. But if you're just, like, sitting here playing it safe, buying, like, $20 teams every once, all the time, but those teams are $20 for a reason. Every once in a while, you got to mix in, like, an $80 team or something and be like, all right, let's 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 try it, see what happens, you know? You got to take some chances every once in a while. Maybe not all the time, so you got to stay within your budget, but every once in a while. And that's what Joe P did. Now you can't complain for a year. I think, yeah, I think we get no complaints for a year, What's right? What's in the year? What, today's the date? <laughs> June 28th, 2019. So June 28th, 2020. How, how long do we get, Joe P? What, what's our, what's our, uh... I mean, I guess the trout spot was pretty expensive. But that card definitely pays for it. It doubles it. Right? Easily, yeah. How long do we get, Joe P? I feel like at least... A year, I think. You a think a year? A year, yeah. I think maybe a little bit shorter. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, maybe a year. Yeah, six months. Yeah, I, I, I say at, by the end of the year. A couple breaks. A couple breaks. <laughs> Two breaks later, no hits. It's no, just like next break. He's just, he's just like, oh, just never hit a Jaspies. It's like autographed baseball. 
Elite Fox coverage, Fox. Nick Chubb. Mr. Mike Dice is two months. Man, she'll just be like two breaks later. Just never hit at Jaspies. Always skunked at Jaspies. Just donating money. I never hit anything. Glenn big. Campbell. Never hit anything big. I don't know why I even break anymore. All right. Two boxes to go. We're there. Boom. We're at the 45 minute mark on this break. We're flying through this break, folks. So we may be slightly ahead of schedule. Those prominences are only five packs. Too. So it should be pretty easy. Yeah, prominence will be pretty quick, folks. Museum is only down to 13. I think Joe Kroll just bought three really big teams. So. All right. So maybe we can get Museum on the schedule, folks. That's about an hour, but it's a fun. It's definitely a fun break. A lot of things to, a lot of big hits. Gold Rush trifecta has five left. Here's Gary Jennings Jr. Turn of the century. One out of uh, one ninety nine. Immaculate Soccer sold out. Nice. Glenn Campbell with the Seahawks. And Chronicles two is ten left. So I'll probably post spot rams. People want to get their teams now. Some of those. So these are still tentative times. I'll I'll update them as, as we as we do each break. But there we go. I'll bet we'll I'll bet we'll actually be a little ahead of ahead of that schedule that you see in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. So the situation a little fluid, but that's basically what the schedule is. And another Will Greer for Jason McKee this time. Ryan, come on, Will. What's he doing here? Rookies. I'm glad I didn't have to pull the mixer, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're giving away money in that Save mixer, too. about an hour refunding people. So, Jason McKee, there you go. Panthers. Next time you run into Will Greer, tell him he owes you another autograph. Leighton Van Der Esch, Travis Homer. Yeah, I'm glad you did too, Fred. It, wor it worked out nicely. I mean, especially since we all know that it could go, it could go sideways. It could go the other way really quickly. But I'm glad to see. I'm glad that Kyler Murray paid off, popped out, and paid off for you as well. Still so badly. <laughs> Wait, why aren't they in the studio, the other studio with the baseball field? I hate when they do that. Why is Jim Tomey out there? I know, it, it is kind of weird. It's like, so corny, I feel like. It is a little corny. It's like, I'm not going to be in the MLB, so I don't really know how, like, need the launch angle. Like, I guess it's kind of interesting. <laughs> and then Harold runs like, all right, now let's go here. Let's see what Cody, let me, let me flip you some balls. And Jim Tomei gets in the box and it's just like, all right, guys. <laughs> all right, Kevin Rode, you're watching it right now. It's the last box of Elite Five. I'm going to do a recap video in just a, right after this box. So The spot random was before the break. 62 out of 75. We got old uh, Robert Brazil, 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 Brazili. Old Euler goes to the Titans. That goes to Sam Rail. <laughs> it 
Harold Reynolds just one of the best ever third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Just, just, just talking reckless. Jeez, that's I mean. Brooks Robinson might have something to say about that. There's a lot of guys. Manny Machado's. Manny Machado might have something. Ahead of Arenado. A Rob played third for a while too, right? Yeah. There's Jarrett Stidham for Karen and the Patriots. He always had that plate. He plays in Colorado thing too. So held against him. Um, Kevin Road, what team did you get here? He was in a spot. Right? Oh, if you were in the spot random, unfortunately, you did not get a team. But you are in that prominence break, which is coming up right after this. So hopefully we'll be able to make up for that in that those divisional breaks. There's Drew Brees, 7 out of 49. Just a couple off the jersey number. There's Easton Stick. Yeah, what's the deal with him? How did he get so good this year? He's healthy. Finally? Yeah, he's he's the Korean David Wells. Just always just, just, kind, of just kind of a lumbering chubby dude, but yeah. just so but just somehow really, just somehow deals. 20, 2013 he was healthy, but then yeah, it's kind of fell out. Like Hyunjin Ru, the Korean David Wells, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got quarterback Josh Allen, 30 out of 49. Elite coverage. Nice, some nice colors in those relics there. Buffalo goes to Scott V. And the Buffalo Bills. And that die cut. And all of those serial numbered cards. In fact, Nick is sleeving and top loading them right now for the sorting and shipping team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice break. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Let's do that. Let's do a quick randomizer here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, try, trying to make the uh, VW bus a thing. Yeah. That's should we, a thing? Should we get one? That's really cool. Should we get a VW electric bus? <laughs> that looks like Jaspi. Jaspi orange? Jaspi wrap on it. Woo! Their website link on there. Five and a two, seven times. Should we get a VW bug, a bus, ladies the and gentlemen? The new 2019 VW bus, all electric. Put Wrap some Jaspi stuff around it. We'll drive it across the country. We'll come break at your house. <laughs> We'll call we'll call it Jaspi Home Invasion. <laughs> we'll we'll just wear masks and we'll like no okay that might not work we might get shot in like Texas. Someone's gonna stand their ground. One. See this is this is what pe the content people don't get when they don't watch the hour long video. It's ideas like ideas like that. Three, four, five, six, and seven. That's five, position five. So all the, I know these are college, but it'll be whatever pro team they're on. It'll, it'll go to those. Thanks everyone. Joe for jazpyscasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.